So I'm going to make a quick video here just on adding the additional time frames to the MT5 platform and to make sure that you have the Elliott Wave indicators. Uh, or excuse me, the Elliott Wave labeling tools. It's not an indicator, it's just a labeling tool. So if you look up here, you'll see all the extra time frames. That, and, um, you know, when you set up your MT5, it's just going to default to the standard ones. But I've added all these extra ones that are options. And then here's your two Elliott Wave tools. This is the correction one for drawing the ABC, and this is the motive wave for the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So all you got to do is, to, we'll start with these. You just go up in your toolbar here, and you just right-click uh, somewhere in here. So you'll, you'll have some of these that are defaulted, like with the text in there. So just anywhere in here, you just right-click, and you click Customize. And then you want to scroll down this list right here. Now, I've already added them, so they're already over here. If you don't have them, they'll be over on this list. So let's say I wanted to add triangle to draw out a triangle, which I don't have right now, so it's over in this available list. And then you hit insert, and now it sh shows up over uh, on this list. Okay, and then when I hit close, it's right here now. See, it's added it to the toolbar. Okay, so again, very easy. Go anywhere in here where it shows the available ones, right click, hit customize. Find the ones you want on the left side where it says available, insert them, and then hit close, and they'll pop up right in here. Okay? So that's that. The time frame is pretty much the same thing. You go, you just right click in your time frame toolbar, hit customize, it'll bring up this list. All the available ones will be listed here. Now, these are ones that I don't use. These are all these small ones, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12 minutes. I don't use any of those. Um, I do have the 1, 5, and 10. I never use the 1 at all. The 5 and the 10 and the 15. The 5 and the 10 very rarely. The 15 occasionally. But, you know, they're there just for, you know, sometimes I fine-tune my entries and exits using these, but I certainly don't trade off of them. So, again, you just right-click. You right click, hit customize. So let's say I wanted to add the two minute and I hit insert. Now, then this you're going to want to organize them. So, because see where I just added it? So it drops it down here. So if I hit close right now, it adds the two minute right here between the weekly and the monthly. Well, that doesn't really make any sense, right? You want them in chronological order. So once you get in here, these are the ones that you've selected. I want to move the two minute one up obviously to you know between the one and the five so I just highlight it just click it left click it so it highlights and you just keep clicking up and you'll see it'll go up your list and whoops I went too far so I just go down one and there it is okay so then I hit close and now here it is right here between the one and the five okay uh, you can do that over here with this you can customize it and move these around to me that doesn't really matter but the time frames you definitely want these to be in chronological order so again select the ones you want and then you just use your up and down buttons to um, you know to move them and get them in the chronological order or whatever order you want to put them in okay and then it'll show right here and you got them all all right actually I'm gonna whoops I'm gonna take that two minute one out of there because I don't use it so it's just the way I am I don't like it so so to get rid of it I just highlight it over here and I hit remove and it sticks it back over into this column and then I hit close and it's gone from my list all right so uh, I hope that helps this is mostly for Nikki but uh, anybody else out there that's getting MT5 and wants to be able to get these extra time frames which are really great for your analysis um, that's how you do it. So now I've got all my time frames and I've got my Elliott Wave labeling tools right here. Again, this is your corrective one. You know, this is your ABC. All right, and this is your one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so, so there you go. All right, and just like anything else, you can customize the colors. This is, you know, to customize these individual. It's just, it's like any other indicator if you're using a moving average. You just go to properties and then you can change the colors or do whatever you want right here okay this is just what I have at default to the to these so get rid of those and that's it all right so I uh, hope that helps and uh, hope everybody has a good day and a great weekend